and welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending May 2nd, 2021. Wow, my hat looks ridiculous, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's move right along. The Demon Slayer Mugen Train film finally rolled into North American theaters this week and to absolutely no one's surprise broke lots of records as it did so. <clears throat> The film's opening numbers from last weekend's officially made it the second highest opening for an anime film in the United States, second only to, can you all guess? Spirit of the Way. No, actually. Your name. No. <laughs> the first Pokemon movie in 1999. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I never would have guessed that. All those ever. kids. All those kids. Um, wow. However, since Pokemon the first movie came to the U.S. theaters with an English dub, Mugen Train also had the biggest opening for a foreign language film ever in North America. Though the numbers for the subbed and dubbed versions of the films aren't separated in the report, so it's difficult to say for sure. Mugen Train did gross more than $21 million in its opening weekend, which already sets it as the fourth highest grossing anime film in North America. <laughs> behind the first two Pokemon movies and Dragon Ball Super Broly. And finally, the record that Mugen Train has been steadily creeping towards since its October debut in Japan, thanks to the North American opening, it has now officially overtaken Spirited Away to become the highest grossing anime film worldwide. It sold almost 37 million tickets worldwide and brought in almost 48 billion yen, which amounts to around 443 million US dollars. Spirited Away's total was 47 billion yen, and despite the fact that the beloved Ghibli classic was released 20 years ago, the Japanese yen has only seen 2.5% inflation since that time, Mugen Train has truly earned its spot. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. Um, so, the Mugen Train continues to rumble down. Um, it's nuts. Um, yeah. As I mentioned before the show, I did get a chance to watch it this, this week. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly impressive. Um, if you're, you're a Demon Slayer fan, it will definitely, you know, it'll be there. Although, I do have to say, there was a guy in the theater. There was the guy in the theater who, as we left, I got up. And he, he was fine throughout the, the, the thing. But as we left, I was behind him and he said... The thing is, we came in and there was a, we, they didn't explain why this guy was there and I just wish they would have explained that thing because, you know, I come into a movie like this expecting, and I'm like, mm. you know, you come out of a movie that is very entertaining and actiony and I understand you might have some complaints, but the first thing out of your mouth, anyway. <laughs> But yes. Don't, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Yeah. Um, See, Bob, don't be like Bob. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't do that thing. Um, let's see here. Um, moving right along. Love this story. Um, Studio Ghibli co-founder Toshio Suzuki gave an interview last Sunday on Fuji TV and revealed the studio has received a number of offers to adapt Nausicaa the Valley of Wind into live action form. Um, oh. Yeah. Included in the list of those who sent offers is Evangelion's Hideaki Otto, who mm. was a key animator on the film and has always been fond of it. Back in 2012, he created a live-action tokusatsu short with Ghibli titled Giant God Warrior Appears, which drew inspiration from Nausicaa. Hmm. And in 2013, when Hayao Miyazaki himself was asked about the potential of a Nausicaa sequel, he said, Nope, I don't really feel like doing it, but Otto keeps on saying, I want to do it, I want to do it. So I tell him now that I've come to think lately that if he wanted to do it, it'd be fine for him to do it. Sure. sure. Why not? That's, that's called a blessing. Sure. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Um, it was also mentioned in the interview that director Takashi Yamazaki of the live action Space Battleship Yamato and Parasite, as well as Lupin the Third, the First, and Stand By Me Doraemon, had also said he wanted to make a live action version of Nausicaa, but was always told no by Suzuki. According to him, everyone wants to make a live action Nausicaa except for Hayao Miyazaki himself. Um, which. It does kind of make sense. Are we surprised? Yes. Um, here's my question to all of you. Um, do you think Nausicaa would adapt well to live action? Just in general. I think today the effort could be made to do it. I think if you were talking as little as five to ten years ago, no. Yeah. What kind of budget are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's the thing. You yeah. know, it would need to be Avatar. 
Yeah. Like James Cameron's Avatar. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna be a yeah. good track. That's the problem. Is that it? You know, it, it is. There is there are almost no shots in that film that you could just shoot. You know, everything would need some CGI, yeah. some sets, mm-hmm. some th- you know. Well, all you have to do is find some of the classic set builders from Doctor Who back in the 70s (laughs) and have them put it together. I'm sure they could probably master it. (laughs) Hi, BBC. We need your people. (laughs) One of my favorite scenes from a hat on Whose Line Is That Anyway ever, the original British version, was Stephen Fry with a roll of um, bubble wrap saying... Well, I appreciate we don't have much uh, much budget, but how Doctor Who is supposed to be supposed to make forty monsters out of this? I just don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. They did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. with a, with a big enough budget, I mean, it's sort of the the idea that you know, with enough enough thrust, a brick can fly. So with a big enough budget, you can yeah. make the thing. Will it be good? Jay asked an interesting Hopefully. question. <laughs> you know, what about an all CGI movie? could do that but mm-hmm. is that yeah. technically live action? Well, that's true it's not live action anymore that's, that's a good point yeah mm. unless you just sort of like do the uh what was it? the pirates of the caribbean um mm. the squid headed guy oh yeah davy jones yeah. Mm-hmm. you make yeah. davy jones is is a live right. actor doing the davy jones movements mm-hmm. but then they cgi'd over so could you still technically consider it live action right yeah and I guess all the characters, you know, would not have to be that. I guess, I mean, so here's the I would almost do Nausicaa entirely green screen. Like, I wouldn't try to recreate the value of the wind, you know, in yeah, God. somewhere. I'm trying to get all that working. I would just, you know, put them all on, on, on you know, just CGI the entire thing. Uh, but again, human actors, yeah. you know, physical actors. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a tall order. Um, here's another question. Ho, ho. What if they said, we're going to do a live action of the rest of the manga. So we're going to adapt the rest of the story and t- and not touch the original movie. Oh, jeez. Oh. It couldn't be a movie, then. That's true. It, it, it would have to be television. It would, it yeah. would have to be... Well, I mean, with, series, with, a, I guess. Yeah. with a good script writer, you could yeah. maybe crank it out in three hours, but... Right. You know? Or, you know... A th- Three movie deal. You can do that too. Mm-hmm. Gosh, get, Peter, get Peter Jackson to uh, direct. Yeah. Three. And I'm sure New movies. Zealand will build you the Valley of the <laughs> yeah, Wind. Yeah, that's, <laughs> <really happy>, <laughs> that's basically where it is. Yeah. If the Shire could be there, hell, it could be Nausicaa. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hard because, yeah. ooh, you know what I mean? You, you have the problem with three set films that, you know, how much are you investing in each one of those? What's your return going to be over the stretch right. of it? Like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I I can't see a production company that would put enough money into it. Yeah, right. This is this is not Lord of the Rings. It's not you know these other things. Yeah, which how many permutations were there of Lord of the Rings before mm. Peter Jackson right. hit it? You know, out of the park. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ralph Bakshi, Two. right? <laughs> Yeah, it was Ralph Bakshi and. Actually, he, he did yeah. the, the Hobbit. Say, wasn't, there, Hobbit a, wasn't there another adaptation that somebody had done? Well, no, there was. What it was, it was the Hobbit, and then it was the Ralph Bakshi. Oh, oh no, right, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Right, right. Because yeah, Bakshi didn't do the, the, that. The version of the Hobbit he did. The, yeah, yeah. Right, right. I've seen both of those. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's an experience. Um, yes. Artistically interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I actually saw the Brown Bakshi in the theater because my grandmother thought it would be more like The Hobbit. Wow. <laughs> right. And it wasn't. Boy, was no. she off on that one. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't. And my young self was just like, I don't get it. I don't understand. The monsters are cool. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah, that and is then it was a double yeah. feet, double uh, header with wizards. Yeah, oh. Oh. Sweet. There's, a, there's, there's a great movie to show a kid. Yeah, um, scar them for life. Exactly. Therapy. You can have Grave of the Fireflies and Totoro. <laughs> Why can't you have Bakshi's Lord of the Rings and Wizards? <laughs> Come on. Oh. 
So many thoughts. Um, <laughs> afternoon. Exactly. Um, moving right along. Um, <laughs> Netflix um, is um, uh, uh, Netflix featuring in the anime news is nothing new. And I'm sure most of you have heard of your fair share about various VTubers, you know, even if you don't watch them yourself. This week, these two great tastes have unexpectedly come together. The Netflix anime YouTube account debuted its official virtual YouTuber ambassador on Monday. Her name is Enuko, written as Enko. Wonder where they got that. And she describes herself in her intro as a, intro video as a, I'm not making this up, sheep human life form born in California. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that. What? A sheep human life form born in California. Um... Um, any fans of um, uh, of riff tracks will know God Monster of Indian Flats. Check it out. Um, she speaks both Japanese and English and is played by an actual Netflix employee who agreed to say those words. So she, quote, knows the contents very well, end quote, and can tell viewers about, quote, the charm of Netflix anime. Her mission is to let many more people know about the fun uh, anime and movies on the service. Um, and it goes also Netflix's anime clubs manager and will host a weekly show featuring anime and movie recommendations, exclusive information about Netflix anime, and, quote, information that only employees know, end quote. Ooh. She also plans to do collabs with other VTubers, sing songs, and stream games because that's what people want. Is it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, people. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm people, and I'm not really sure I care. I'm doubtful on that. <laughs> this is what the kid. This is for the kids. You know, for kids. The kids like the VTubers, so we're gonna do one of those VTuber things. I'm a 65 year old network executive, and this is what the kids are hip with. Oh God. Hey, really? So styled sheep person yes from uh, california yeah uh-huh oh boy Apollo oh, smile. oh all over again. New fresh hell now world. now did the employee like was this a contest and they won or was this a contest <laughs> and they lost i mean, or, or, <laughs> I mean like how did they or, get stuck or was this, this or was this the memo where they went or was this the memo where they read it and just went oh oh oh, oh god oh god no. <laughs> who just got hired recently you hey you won. come over here <laughs> And to be clear, I have not seen a second of this person's performance. I'm not commenting on that person's performance whatsoever. They may be doing great work. It's just the concept. It just seems so, again, so yeah. like corporate shoved down your throat. Oh, this is what the kids are doing these days. Oh. Well, from the description of it, it sounds kind of like it's Mr. Paperclip. Right. Like, like it, the thing is supposed to tell you yeah. what great things are going on on Netflix, mm. what anime is like the good thing to do watch us play some games and be engaged and then we'll we'll keep keep you alerted about what netflix is doing mm -hmm. why right <laughs> yeah exactly that's the thing isn't you know right this is what twitter is for <laughs> yeah this is I what mean... blogs are for like why would you want to do it this way exactly jay it's just a bad idea for a vtuber like it's why would yeah, you do no. it that way i don't know um, Which I mean, it, it's Netflix, so they'll they'll probably do this for a, a short period of time. That just yank the blood. Right, like, exactly. Ah, yeah, didn't um, really meet expectations. Right. <laughs> Season two, right. hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll wait to see that get canceled. Um, also, this week, news stories that we like to mention, not necessarily dive into too much detail. Um, Speaking of weirdness, anime might be the last thing viewers of a World Wrestling Entertainment presentation expect to hear about, but this week, during the WWE's first quarter 2021 webcast, WWE President and Chief Revenue Officer Nick Khan revealed that WWE has, quote, sold a multi-episode anime series to Crunchyroll, end quote. What? Oh, he prefaced the announcement by saying, quote, as we continue to expand WWE's brand beyond the ring, we remain focused on developing the slate of original programming from WWE Studio, end quote. No other information about the series was mentioned, so we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Does does no one remember the WWE cartoon Saturday morning cartoon? Yeah, that Hulk Hogan and Friends. And friends. And yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. <clears throat> um, 
Uh, Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, I mean, essentially, is this just going to be God of High School, WWE? Well, here's the Probably. thing. I mean, here's the thing. I actually think anime is a really good fit for professional wrestling. You know. Yeah. yeah okay. An argument can make. You know, that, it's mm-hmm. you know, think any over the top shonen series. Think Dragon Ball Z. It's right. basically professional wrestling, right? It's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> yeah. Actually, right. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Wacky costumes, weird hairdos, all kinds of bizarreness. So, and if you throw in a few magical powers and some super moves, yeah, yeah. I guess it really does kind of play itself. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> you know, um, I'm gonna uh, Google something just, and see. There we go. They're really gonna be able to squeeze like profit out of this. Like, particularly? well, I. I I, I suspect they don't even care about profit. I suspect this is how do we get the brand in front of more eyeballs? Mm, awareness. Yeah. Awareness. Raising exactly. Awareness. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's just hope it doesn't look like X arm. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> by the way, you can never unsee that once you see it. By it's, the way, I, I, it, it's also a muscle. Absolutely, Jay. You're right. Kinnick man. That's absolutely. Russian wrestling. Um, I couldn't remember the name of X arm, so I just Googled Crunchyroll Bad Original Series. <laughs> and it just popped right up. Like, well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, it? Kimono, kimono mask, and not kimono, but ke- kimono animal mask. Okay, mm-hmm. from two seasons ago. Okay, where a guy is like a wrestler with his little dog. Okay, and he's oh, about right, right, to do right. like yeah, yeah, a yeah. flying uh, mm-hmm. jump into the ring, yep. and he like gets teleported to a new world to fight mm. the demon lord, and he like German suplexes the princess <laughs> who summons him, <laughs> and then it's him. <laughs> having an otherworldly pet store <laughs> and there's a wrestling thing there you exactly. go <laughs> and your tiger mask you know classic yeah. you know, you know? Character. Totally. so yeah i mean you know actually it, that could be a thing mm-hmm. is it gonna be good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. who cares i watched god of high school and i enjoyed it there we it go. was not good but i enjoyed it <laughs> weak on the plot but great on the fighting Boy, I'm not going to comment on that at all. Um, <laughs> so many things came to mind. Um, the online 10th anniversary event for the Puella Magica Madoka <clears throat> Magica uh, franchise revealed last weekend that a new film is in the works, subtitled Churning the Tide of Walpurgis. The film will be an official sequel to 2013's Madoka Magica The Movie Part 3 Rebellion, and will feature a returning staff and cast from the original series and films. Uh, again, Urobochi commented on Twitter that he's quote, glad it's finally seeing the light of day, end quote, and revealed he actually finished the script several years ago after finishing Kamen Rider Game in 2014 and before starting on Thunderbolt Fantasy in 2016. Um, uh, he said, this is kind of weird, if I think about it, this was, this was the last time I was able to write lines for cute girls all by myself. Okay, Urbochi. Okay. <laughs> what? Sure. <laughs> was that supposed to be an interior thought? That I think so, came yeah. out of <laughs> He finally took the training wheels off of my career, and I can now write them by myself. Oh, you uh, made your mom very proud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, speaking of uh, anime directors, um, director Shingo Natsume, a One Punch Man space dandy and others, is reuniting with studio Madhouse to produce the original sci-fi survival TV anime Sunny Boy, set to premiere sometime this year. Uh, the drama is about 36 boys and girls who are suddenly transported to a school adrift in an alternate dimension and have new superpowers awakened within them. Sounds fun. Huh. Um, Studio 3 Hertz is also creating a new original TV anime with direction from Yasuhiro Irie, um, Irie of FMA Brotherhood and script supervision from Noboro Kimura of Gundam Build Divers and Gundam Double O. The anime is called Healer Girl and depicts the world of the, wait for it, Healer Girls. <laughs> Shocking. High school girls who really? cure people with, wait for it, singing. Music. Oh, <laughs> Lapis relights. The Here main cast are also, <laughs> wait for it, members of a real life voice actress unit or called Healer Girls. <laughs> um, writer Kakeru Kabushiri announced this week that their mm. The Dawn of the Witch Light novel series is inspiring a TV anime. Um, it's set in uh, the same fantasy world as Grimoire of, of Zero. Oh, um, okay. w- w- which is now at peace after 500-year conflict between the church and witches. Yeah. Cool. 
Um, director Masanao Kawajiri revealed on Tuesday he's directing a new film to debut in Japan in 2022 called, and this is the actual title. Yeah. <laughs> Cherry and Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> it is described as a nervous romance animation <laughs> who follows the relationship of uh, an H manga artist who is not used to women. <laughs> <laughs> and Ami, a Fujoshi with a poor impression of men, um, and will feature rotoscoping, manga, and live action <laughs> elements. Oh. oh, boy. Oh, I went on a roller coaster in that one. I got to say, I oh. just went all over the place with that, that particular news story. Wow. Oh, oh God, thank God it's after 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh. I saw that it was an ANN article oh, earlier man. this week, and I was just like, it's called what? <laughs> like, oh my. I didn't realize it was going to be rotoscoping oh, manga and yeah. live action elements. Like, here's yeah. the thing it boy, this going, could be a train wreck. It's either going to be a train wreck or it's going to be incredible. Like, one of the two. There's no Yeah, there's not here. any in between there. 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 No. Like, oh boy. But 2022, we got something to look forward to next year. Yes, we do. Joy. Um, oh dear God! Waiting with nervous anticipation. Um, yeah. Uh, can I? Yeah, I will. Um, there's a mystery science theater movie where um, it's this cheesy fantasy movie. Um, I actually think it was Rift Tracks. Anyway, and um, a soldier comes in um, after an, uh, um, and tells this guy there's just been an earthquake, and he says um, the earth shook. Like a virgin being drawn to her nuptial bed. And it's like, and everyone's like, ew? But that's a really good <laughs> metaphor. Like, like, you know, like, yeah. The I writer mean, thought that one through. Like, okay. You know? That would be really good in like a medieval movie right. or something, you, you know? know, like castles and other things. That would be wonderful. Line. Or Cinemax yeah. porn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, the Saint's power is omnipotent, by the way, is quite lovely. I'm really okay. enjoying this. Oh, okay. Right. Um, the Japan Racing Association has a history of interesting collaborations with the anime, and next month they're branching out into anime themselves. The four episode series called Neko Jockey will feature, you guessed it, a cat who is also a racing jockey. Um, described as a healing question mark anime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear goodness. <laughs> the show stars a horse uh -huh. um, who's been repeatedly losing races despite his being physique until his eccentric owner hires a new jockey who apparently is just a normal cat. It's just a cat. Like, it just sits on top. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, his, his owner has an aneurysm exactly. and decides to hire a cat. <laughs> well, this makes total sense here. Oh, my God. It's a YouTube video oh, oh. <laughs> it's a youtube video set. oh no i you know it's a healing anime i'm gonna watch that yeah because it probably will be adorable absolutely <laughs> and it, it sounds in fairness like you know um and i don't know anything about it but it, it sounds like they're kind of taking anime for what it's worth of saying we're, you know we're not going to try to do a serious racing anime yeah like eh, let's just do something silly and fun and healing and relaxing and yeah. you know go for it so so no so it's not gonna be black stallion only with cats. <laughs> i hope not <laughs> although i would watch that um, it would be interesting if it was the baron yeah, right. Something yeah. like something where you pull something out and be like, "Oh my gosh, okay, what's deeper meaning on this?" I'm surprised there's not more like, like horse anime. Like you know, thirteen year old girl, you know, makes a friendship with a horse or whatever. Like that's such a classic thing of like Western literature. And I'm sure in Japan, I'm actually surprised there's not more like shoujo horse stuff. Well, we had you know? Derby Musume though. Uh, yeah, uh, but that yeah, that's, that's horse girl. Yeah, thing, that's so. that's. Aimed at a slightly different audience, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> slightly different audience. That's a. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of healing, um, ASMR has become increasingly popular online these days. So, of course, there has to be an anime about it. The new Can I Make Your Ears Happy in 180 Seconds TV anime. Yeah, that's the title. Will premiere in October and will feature the story's heroine and her classmates sharing various forms of ASMR in 180 second episodes. ASMR? ASMR. Um, uh, I forget the, the the title, but it's it's where somebody you know 
says things into, you know, uh, sounds <clears throat> into a, a microphone, and it's supposed to be very relaxing. Oh, like the like I'm the sleeping boyfriend or girlfriend anime they had a few seasons ago, where it was just yeah. you, you hear very gentle tones, very gentle mm. talking, and it looks like you're laying down. With, oh, interesting. With mm-hmm. the yeah. boyfriend or girlfriend, yeah. Yeah. it's 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 literally just making noise that might that may or may not be pleasing to you. Like there's, I think there was like one girl who was eating raw fish, and there was the sound of her sound of eating eating. Yeah. Raw, yeah. yeah. Autonomous sensory meridian response. Um, is there you the, go. the term oh. for it? To be to be clear, it is a thing that happens. Not all ASMR videos actually produce that effect. People just produce videos to see if people will respond to it, if it will actually do that, um, and it varies by person. So it may just sound like weird yeah. squelching sounds to one person, maybe relaxing to somebody else. Um, but anyway, um, now does it harmonize with the tracking chips from the vaccine? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tuning device. Oh, damn. The ASMR tells me what to do. Um, <laughs> um, meanwhile, anime studio UFO table or UFO table, um, who did, um, uh, fate stay something or other and demons slaying something. I don't know. Um, opened their official YouTube channel this week. Um, so far, the first 20 videos are promos for the Fate Stay Night Heavens Feel film trilogy. Uh, but the channel promises to upload more comment, uh, more content, including videos introducing their various works and related videos produced by, by the company. So that should be cool. Um, Naoki Urasawa, the acclaimed manga artist behind 20th Century Boys, Pluto, Monster, and others, also opened his official Urasawa channel YouTube this week. He oh. plans to talk with various manga artists, demonstrate his manga drawing techniques, and even hold live drawing sessions on the channel. Um, oh. his, his first video, titled, you guessed it, Manga Artist Urasawa Naoki is starting YouTube, um, features him drawing the banner illustration for the channel, which takes him 10 minutes, because it's Naoki Urasawa. Um, but that sounds cool. Um, he's actually done, um, uh, he actually does a series called Naoki Urasawa no Man Ben uh, for um, NHK, where he films a manga artist at their desk and then talks to the manga artist on camera afterwards about their process. So he's very interested in this, this, this thing of how is manga actually made, you know, for real. Right. Um, Katakawa announced this week it's acquired the U.S. light novel and manga publishing company J Club, or sorry, J Novel Club, with the intent to strengthen its ebook business and expand its light novel business in the English market. Uh, it plans to reinforce J Novel Club collaboration with its Bookwalker Global Online Manga and Light Novel Service, and to release more new titles first digitally while complementing and contributing to Yen Press, which Katakawa also jointly owns. Hmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Let's hope that works out. Is there any trust laws look like over there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there are enough of them at the moment. To, yeah. yeah. Um, prolific <laughs> anime composer Shinsuke Kikuchi sadly passed away this week at 89 years old. Yeah. He composed for numerous anime, live action series, and films, including the first Common Rider theme song. The opening theme song and soundtrack for Doraemon, soundtracks to Tiger Mask, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, Get a Robo, and many more. He received numerous honors for his work um, over the years. So, sad to see that passing. Um, Kanajo revealed this week that it, that it and the Ministry of he- Health, Labor, and Welfare of Japan are posting two currently relevant chapters from Akane Shimizu's Cells at Work manga on YouTube in motion comic format a.k.a. the manga with added sound effects, in Japanese, English, and Hindi, because the chapters posted are the series' final chapter, New Coronavirus Disease, and a brand new COVID-19 vaccine chapter, which was supervised by Shimizu and drawn by artist Kairi Meku. So, getting that out there. I was going to say, I enjoyed the end of Code Black and the cliffhanger for the end of Code Black. Oh, really? <laughs> so, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's uh, they they obviously they've struck on a, a good thing. Although I mm-hmm. I read something I can't remember what where I read it that said the second season of Cells at Work mm-hmm. not Code Black, but the regular right. season mm-hmm. was just kind of meh. Oh, okay, that Code Black was really where it was mm-hmm. where they really spent the effort to make it like wow, this is shocking and interesting yeah. and crazy things going on. So it's like mm, okay, mm-hmm. I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha. you. Yep, interesting. Um... 
Yeah, I'm it's all for that. Interesting, it's in Hindi as well. Yeah, mm. considering the the massive number of cases that are popping right. up daily. Yeah. In right. Hindi right now. Yeah. Well, I remember um, uh, the anime was aired in China. It was cleared yeah. to, anim- to air in China specifically to get people more, you know, body conscious, if you will. Yeah. So. Here's something. Good on them. Yeah, absolutely. That's all the news for the week. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you all next <clears> week. <throat>